Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. As you all know, I am the queen of vodka cranberries, but today I'm switching it up and I'm going with air up. It is the best way to stay hydrated as you're drinking water, but the scent makes it taste like berry. You're probably wondering, how does this work? Well, it's really easy and simple to use. All you have to do is fill your bottle with water, attach the scent pod and activate the scent pod by pulling it gently up until it naturally stops. There are over 25 flavors that you have to choose from. Since having Air Up, I have cut down on drinking fizzy drinks and alcohol, but I can still get my berry fix with Air Up. Get your Air Up bottle at uk.air-up.com with code GRACE10 for 10% off. That is G-R-A-C-E 10 for 10% off site-wide at uk.air-up.com. Welcome back to another episode of Saving Grace. Today, we've got Jordan and William, a.k.a. Help I Sexted My Boss. Yay. Oh, thank you so much. Look nice at this, we're pretty intro. in pink. You are, and you've got the halo, which I think was fitting. Wasn't planned, mm. but fitting. Thank you. You're welcome. I need to say nothing else. <laughs> Why didn't I get a halo? It would just set fire, burn. Oh, okay, so, yes. you yeah. know. And you're wearing a lot of hairspray. I am wearing a lot of hairspray. <laughs> <So. laughs> Fire risks, we're in a tall building. <laughs> That's true. It's not good. No. How does it feel to be, like, I feel like we're the, what's the word, most common people in this room? <laughs> How does it feel to be, like, above us right now? <laughs> what uh, a question. This is just my day-to-day -day life. I so love that. This is how I feel every day. With everything. Have you ever been to Aldi? To, to Aldi? Yeah, like, as in A-L-D-I. Oh, yes. Um, I went to one of them, Aldi or Lidl. Okay, oh, yeah, I can't so remember. Did you have a good time? It's a terrible smell. Yes, mm. and that's Is just it? the poverty yeah. in the room. It's just people don't wash. Yeah, <laughs> generally. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is an that's issue what I felt. in today's society. But I can see why people do go there. Yeah, cheap bargain. Yeah, you know what they do have? Good mm. steaks. Good and you wouldn't think it. I, I, I think Aldi and Lidl are class. Uh, we've said this before. It's the only place you can go in for bread and milk and come out with. Yeah. Orbital sander and a tent. And a... Oh, because the mi that yeah. pisses me off actually while we're on the subject. Mm. I don't like, I feel very overstimulated in there. There's like a tent, there's some chairs mm. right by the rice pudding. Yes. <laughs> and it really, it throws you off, doesn't it? Yeah. It's too much. William's been to Iceland before. Yes. Mum's shop at Iceland. Very I nice. Did. I've I never went, been to Iceland, I don't think. I went, when Jordan, Jordan did it, he doesn't like to mention it, but Jordan did a show called I'm the Celebrity, Get Me Out I would here. never have guessed that. Mm. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Jordan, shock, managed mm. to get through to the final. So ahead of that, yeah. we decided on our podcast, because we were doing daily podcasts, right. covering Jordan's every move Aww. in the castle slash jungle. We went to Iceland, producer Ben and I went to Iceland to do a picky tea, which is something that Jordan and people from the north apparently have on a regular basis. A picky tea? A picky tea. tea. Oh, a picky tea. A picky yeah. tea. Oh, like uh, picky bits. Yeah, picky yeah, bits. yeah. Party tea. Yeah. Carpet picnic, freezer Maybe tapas. some cocktail sausages. Yeah. Yes, mm. everything was beige. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Correct. so we went to Iceland. I put on my warmest coat to yeah. go in, down the freezer aisles, <laughs> which is, of course, every aisle in Iceland. Yeah. And uh, we went and, you know, had this collection of frozen goods. And then I sort of produced it uh, that evening for your the big final party, wearing my charity Burnley Happy Place t-shirt. Because, of course, he did, as an aside, Go one of the greatest place. things to come out of I'm a Celebrity and Jordan's appearance was raising all that money for Pendleside Hospice. Oh, so, bless you. Yeah. Jesus. Which we often forget now, but that was yeah. a good thing <laughs> to come he out He did of do it. something good. He did, And that's yes. what counts. Yes, how much did he raise? I think, I think it was about... £45,000. Yeah, I'm going to say Jordan. That'll do. Jordan that'll do. That'll yeah. do it, yeah. You did nothing. You just, yeah. you just screamed in a coffin. But I, I didn't even know until... No, you didn't know until yeah. you came out, no. You came out a saint. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I should have the halo, really. Well, you should. But should do you do much charity work now? Um, <laughs> I don't, if it makes you feel better. Don't um, worry, I don't really. Bits. I'm, an, I'm an ambassador for Pendleside Hospice. So yeah. I, I try and do bits. Not enough, I should probably do. you know do. what I enjoy doing? I think this is the best charity. Mm -hmm. When you go into like Tesco or something and they give you the little tokens to put in. Waitrose with the green counter. That's it. Yes. And you put in the which charity you think should get the money. Mm. Oh. And I like giving it to the one that has the least. It's usually some sort of shit one, like rebuild the playground or something, <laughs> isn't it? 
I oh. think I'll give it to him. You'll, no. you'll be on the New Year's. You'll be on the New Year's honors list. I will. Do you know what? Completely agree. Yeah. Now they ask you on your card, though. Do you like to give to charity? Which I don't want <gasps> to do in. Do you know what happened the other day? You don't, but I'll tell you. I went to a christening, right? In yes. a church. That's where they often are. Isn't it? Mm. And I was in a church and they went, oh, we accept donations. And I thought, I don't carry cash. They had a card machine in the church. And when it came up on my Monzo, it said church. And I thought that's so modern. That's great. Isn't it? The buskers on the tube in London have those little yeah. card machines Stop now. It. Yeah, and George, who sells the big issue outside of the BBC, he's right. got one as well, because I never have. No, um, don't carry cash. I never have cash no. in me, so I just scan that. Yeah. Really? Hmm. I'm, I think if I was homeless, I'd get like a sum up or something. What's a sum up? You know, the... The little like card machine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a little card machine. We've got them for when we go on tour. Yeah. Producer Ben's always like trying to flog merchandise. Yes. He's oh, like yeah. Del Boy from yeah. Bulls and Horses. Got a yeah. cap on, fag in mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want some of You these? want any? Yeah. How many times have you been on tour? Oh, oh four or five, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. We yeah. do love it. It's just, it's knackering though. It yeah. Is. But we yeah. do love it. It's a great way to I love, I mean, my, my day job as an etiquette coach, I talk to people like in the flesh, you know, groups of people yeah. doing trainings. That mm. is the day job. So I see them. Whereas Jordan obviously talks to thousands you of people see one as of you these. go, but just sees yeah. the microphone. Millions. <laughs> Sorry, Let's millions. Reach up here, yeah. Um, yeah. And so you are slightly more, what's the word? He's he's more shy. I get really nervous. Do you drink before yeah. you go? Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Vodka. Yeah. Hunt, oh, you're a vodka. Yeah. I'll have two bottles of Prosecco, then I'm ready to go. Right. Two bottles on your own? Sometimes I'll share it with the boyfriend because I okay. think he gets jittery as well backstage. Does he go on stage as well? No. Oh, just he just loves free, a freebie. Yeah, yeah bless yeah, him. He's okay. a sensitive son. How long have you been together? A year. A year? Oh, yeah. So oh, I wow, think, okay. you know, if you can do a year, yeah. you can do life. Definitely. Have you it's done like a holiday prison. together yet? Yeah, we did two. And that was the first time I got really drugged up on the plane, legal, mm -hmm. scared of flying. Same. And I accidentally farted on his head because <laughs> I was so out of it and drunk. And he went, what on earth? Sorry, no, How Jessica. Do you, I'm just trying to work out the physics of that. Where, you want some demo, yeah, right? Well, so I, not necessarily. I pass out. Yeah, don't I won't use your head. <laughs> I, I pass out on the sofa. We get to the villa and he's laying between my legs, not sexually. Oh, I thought you were on the plane. No, I but I did I... let a few go on the plane too. Right. But that was because I was so out of it. But they were so... Did you arrive five minutes earlier? <laughs> the tailwinds yes. with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, where are we going with that? You, so you... Yeah, got... I've been on holiday with the man. Right, okay. Yeah, and tour. Right. Did did Was it Valium you got? Uh, no, I got... Um, oh, da, da, Dramamine. Diazepam. Dramamine. Oh, oh. Uh, but the drowsy ones, which yeah. I didn't realise when I was eight drinks deep. Was it a daytime flight? How long were you going? Uh, honestly, it was like a two-hour flight. Right. So there was no need for the drowsiness at all. And I was at dinner that night, off me tits. <laughs> yeah. Don't even remember the dinner. See, I don't. I used to get prescription from the doctors because I was scared. Yeah. Them, but I got, I'm better with it now. I just have a few drinks. Oh, I really? Get, I only get prescription if it's long haul. Have you guys ever had that thing on a flight where they go, yeah, we're landing. You go, brilliant. And then they just take back off. Mm. Yeah. I thought I was fine with flying, kind of, until that happened again. <sighs> Why? When did that happen? It happened like a month ago. And I thought, you've taken the piss. <laughs> and you've you've taken my loyalty now for granted with that yeah because i started to get comfortable <laughs> and they just flew me back and what the was air. the reason did they explain it's like debris or something on the track i don't care oh. put me on there yeah if it's a pigeon fuck it it's nature's way yes <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah horror yeah have you had a bad flight experience yet you had you coming back from florida you oh, had some you? terrible turbulence you said yeah recently come back from florida had re the worst turbulence so bad that they asked the crew to sit down and put their belts That's on. That's how you know. Uh, that was really bad. And then I was flying out to the Dominican. I was filming out there last year. And um, we we set off and I knew straight away the plane started veering. And it was like, we're going to make an emergency landing. Shut up. And the guy was like, um, yes, the uh, engine <laughs> may or may not be on fire. I was like... <laughs> I'm a really it either fire. is or it isn't on fire. Uh, and he was like, we uh, can offer you a complimentary water. I was like, you got any vodka? I got any Valium? Yeah. <laughs> That's mental. And as we were landing, um, we were being followed by a lot of fire trucks. <gasps> and it was quite nerve wracking. But do you know what? It also made me feel better because I thought, well, it doesn't get much worse than this. And we were covered. 
I kind of think we're going to happen. Right. I mean, it could get worse than that. Yeah. You could plummet into the we sea. Mm. I'd, I'm not so bad now, but I think if I flew with like an unknown airline or an airline that looked a bit dodgy, like the one I did. Viewelling or Vueling. Vueling, have you heard of it? Yes, I've flown with them. God forbid. Mm. Uh, that was my first flight with bad turbulence. I said never again. Really? Yeah. But that's, you, it, it's not that, it's not, not it's specific true, it's to not that airline. airline. Yeah. It's just the atmosphere. But they pissed me off because it happened with them. Okay. Yeah. And do you know what else? They uh, put up a picture of a ham and cheese toasty. I thought it looked beautiful. It's like easy jet vibes. Hmm. It came, it looked like a chicken korma. <laughs> and I thought something's not right. That's quite a difference. Something yeah. <laughs> is not right. Wow. So okay. that's why I dislike them. Today's show is sponsored by BetterHelp. It is always important to speak to someone, even if you have a hectic lifestyle, whether at uni, working a full-time job, handling a family, BetterHelp is there for you. BetterHelp is completely online, so it helps you during your busy schedule. All you've got to do is fill out a questionnaire and you'll get matched to a licensed therapist. And you can also switch therapists at any time without any added cost. Therapy is really good for all ages and it's really good to just talk about your feelings so you don't always feel like you have a weight on your shoulders. Everyone has a little bit of stress in their life, some more than others, so it's an amazing way to just help you through life. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Go to betterhelp.com forward slash saving grace to get 10% off of your first month. That's betterhelp.com forward slash saving grace. Do you, I, I like the pilots as well. I always hear out for the pilots or the first captain. I always say this. Uh, I'm very proud of my roots, but if it was like a scouser. <laughs> no offence to anyone in Liverpool, but if you say, I like there, mate, right, we should be in a I'd get there. off, yeah. yeah. In about two and a half, three hours, you know, <laughs> there's some fucking checking available. I'd be like, I don't know. No offence to anyone in Liverpool yep. or no. any fellow Northerners, but... I like when they come and go to heights. They've uh, probably stripped it for parts. Yeah, why do they always do the... Captains. To make we're uh, 2,000 feet. Yeah, Captain Dave uh, Phillips here. We should, be, uh, <laughs> yeah. should be landing in uh, the next half an hour. Uh, we've got a smooth way in and it's just like, that, that's what you wanted. That's how you know that's it's going to be a want, good yeah. flight. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's what I'm going, I am uh, <laughs> too. So what my life, I've only just got here and um, we'll be setting off any time there. Yeah. It's the, I, I flew... Um, EasyJet to, where was I going? Uh, somewhere. I can't remember where I was going. Oh, I was coming back from Inverness. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. And I was flying EasyJet and uh, they, the, the um, air stewardess, who was a gene diva, uh, announced that they had a range of eats available. Range, range of, eats. of eats? Range of eats. You just got, you've got food available, is what you mean. <laughs> There's a range of eats. What yeah, that is weird. bastardization of the English language. <laughs> oh! That touched a nerve there, didn't a it? A range of eats. Sorry if you're listening, G and Diva. <laughs> I think she was called Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. We call oh, our listeners so you know. G and Divas. What is this to do with the drink? Yes. Yes. Right. Can you explain this? Yes. Yeah, so we have a signature drink at the start of every episode. Right. It's a gin and de bonnet. De bonnet. It was the late queen and the late queen mother's favourite oh, drink. I have heard it, but what is de bonnet? It's a French aperitif. Yeah, it's a fortified red wine. So it's like a oh, light. Oh. It's a lighter port. If you okay. imagine it like that. I've. I've had a Blossom Hill. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. Yeah, I can't imagine what a port would taste like. Port's quite nice. Well, like you can drink de Bonnet on its... It, originally, it was designed um, as a way to up the French army's quinine, quinine intake uh, because it helped repel mosquitoes when they were out fighting. Okay. It was by a French chemist called Joseph de Bonnet. He was the person that... Makes sense. Yes. Oh. Yeah. In the, I think in the 30s. And you, dr you were supposed to drink it like a lighter the wine. The 1930s? Yes. Fair. Yeah. And then I don't. We don't know who actually added the gin to it. I mean, that right. would then up the quinine level even more so. Um, but especially the Queen Mother would order a gin de bonnet of an evening, right, as her pre-dinner drink. And we brought it in on the very first episode we ever did for Sex yeah. Did because Ben, our producer, said, "Why don't you just bring something in as a show and tell?" Mm. And I had had a de bonnet drinks reception the night before, so I had Fuck. a half open bottle. So I literally grabbed it <laughs> and went, that'll, out. "That'll do. We'll do a bit of chat about royal drinks." Mm. Pour it, and then we'll do a different drink each episode. Nice. But on the basis that back then we recorded like three or four episodes in a go, it didn't work. Four episodes, yeah. We were doing gin and de bonnet because we, we had nothing else. Do you just okay. keep drinking yeah, throughout the episodes? Yeah. <laughs> we, now we only record one a week, and yeah. But sometimes we do do two, and normally on the second episode I've gone. Yeah. 
And it's just, it's it's alcohol on alcohol. Like, I love it now, but yeah. it gets you so pissed. Mm. I like that. But I can't imagine turning up to a pre-drinks with a de Bono. Yeah, you could. No. Did I? Yeah. yeah. And it gets you Very like a markets. giggly squiffy, yeah. doesn't it? It gets you like a... Like a yes, what drink. sort of well, what, it depends what sort of drunk you are. What sort of drunk are you? I am. I love to jump in fountains, love to have a oh, good time. Yeah, you're an annoying so you're drunk. Drunk. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. I'm one of those people you look at and go, a hundred percent. When, when, like, your words, not mine. <laughs> when the Daily Mail do like a big spread on New Year's Eve or Boxing oh, Day or, or the Bank Holiday weekend, yeah. we're, we're the ones these, that are like, these teens, yeah, these young uns. Yeah. Now, when, when I first met William, he never drank. He was teetotal. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You only started drinking. How old were you? 23. 23. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. made you start drinking? Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll tell you what it was. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I had a flatmate who shall remain nameless, not, not the famous flatmate. And he... Famous within our podcast. Cool. He, I was going to um, say, I was like, what have I missed? He lived with Brad yeah. Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> As you do. Anyway, and he basically, t- I was working in Cheshire and on a residential course, and he texted me to say he was moving out. And I was so anti having a flatmate initially. Right. And I was doing a favour for somebody to, to take in um, the flatmate. Charity. And actually, when he then announced he was going after nine months, I was really sad because Aww. I think I was very lonely. Yeah. And I was so depressed that evening. I was teaching on this residential course. And my colleague said, I'm pouring everyone a creme de menthe. Do you want one? A creme de menthe is, is a, a digestive. So it's a it's sort of minty, sugary, green liquid. Oh, okay. I thought it was a biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yeah, go on. That was delicious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I soon forgot about the flatmate. Yeah. <laughs> was that your first drink? That was my first drink. That's such, like a, I love that. Mm. Like a little minty... Yeah. Minty salmon. So, because if it was tequila, I don't think you would have drunk again. Oh, no. God. No, I think it's I very mean. important what someone's first drink is. Yeah. yeah. That's don't why peak I too soon. Cardi. Mine was, uh, um, oh, uh, come on. I'm the sorry. green. Oh, 2020. Um, no. WKD. The green... No. Apple sours. Apple sours. I drank a whole bottle of sours. It was Ooh. violently sick. That's not good. Were you sick the next day? No. No, because you only have a thimble. Well, well, I just, did. Yeah. <laughs> that was enough for me. Because most people our age, their first drink would have been on the park. Yeah, like with, uh, in like November. Yeah, listening to end dubs. Yeah, like, Len yeah. and I. Yeah. <laughs> that's what Get they say, you. isn't it? I know. He's cultured. Like listening yeah. to end dubs on that phone that everyone had in school, drinking caps of Glen's vodka. Uh, oh, oh, Glen's remember, vodka. Yeah, it's like paint stripper. Isn't yeah, it? No horror. Yeah, no, sponsor the pod, but yeah. no, it's horror. Yeah. Right. Did you ever go out in parks and that? I'm sorry? <laughs> the way I said that was like, yeah, it, it parks used to, and that. That's, yeah. that's how I met Jordan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's how we met. Yeah. How did you guys meet? Well, do we, you want to do it or shall I? You do it. This sounds dodgy. No, 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 no. no, 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 no really. We party. get asked it all the time, but we don't mind. Like, that sounded really rude. We get asked it all the time. <laughs> you should know. So, wait, so we've known each other for about 12 years plus, And I, uh, back in the day, was asked to come and, uh, in my capacity as an etiquette coach, co- go on to BBC Radio 5 Live. Oh, okay. There was one show at the time only based in Manchester. This is right. the whole thing moved up there. And I was booked as a guest, and Jordan was on work experience. Mm. Oh. Um, I know I was the talent back then. It was <laughs> very different, very different now. And uh, anyway, so Jordan was in charge of sort of chaperoning me in and out of the studio. And that building at Manchester was so, the corridors were so long. So right. we had a good opportunity to chat because mm, you had right. such a long walk from the green room to the studio mm-hmm. to the entrance. And we just made each other laugh. You yeah. made me a cup of tea. And a chipped mug wasn't here. Yes. Of course. I didn't drink yeah. it. No. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, said thank you to me for lunch. Yeah. And cool. anyway, you know, we sang goodbye and I thought, well, thank you. we won't keep in touch, but you know, lovely. He was nice. And then three or four months later, you move in with some friends of mine. Mutual so we, friends. we had what? mutual friends and we had a, this is how old we are. We had a 2012 Olympics party. Wow. Yes. For... My, my friends that I lived with. Hattie and Daryl at the time. I remember Daryl said to me, I've got a mate coming around. He's really posh. Yeah. Uh, you won't like him. Just don't be rude. Okay. And he, <laughs> he said to William, my housemate's a bit rough around the edges. You won't <laughs> like him. Don't be rude. And he just took the piss out of me all night. All and night. He, and he took the mick out of me as well. And I, and, and I just thought he was the funniest. And we've been friends ever since. And then a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours said about five years ago, six years ago, it would mm. be, when we, he said, you should do a podcast together. When we first met at Five Live, 
So I was like on worse fears, like William said. I thought William was like in his late thirties and like married to like a librarian or something. And how <laughs> wrong was I? It's got a better judge of character late, now. And late thirties. Yeah. Yes. You I'm don't look s- old. No, Thank you. Not so the thirties. But I looked. No, it's not. I I looked older at the time. Right. I am like Benjamin Button. Yeah. In that I am reversing. Yeah. But he did. And bear in mind, like I had like those carrot chinos that everyone used to wear from. Oh my top god. Man with Tom yeah. shoes. Remember <laughs> yeah. Tom. And wow. some like JLS loose cut. Oh, vests. not the vest. God, you've changed now. We've, yeah, <laughs> we've wrote what would he call rosemary beads. No, rosemary beads. You used to no. wear that. Yeah, yeah. Shut that up. was very like the was, rosemary beads. Rosemary, what, the rosemary. Did you have a guitar? They, well, they're not guitar. I didn't guitar. Have a, I didn't have a guitar. No, I had one of the little hats. He modelled nice. himself on Alex Turner. Oh, so yeah. Basically, yeah. Look, this was very 2011, and you were like in slacks and a jumper and a shirt, like you are now. I know my look. You do. I know what works. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe yeah. you were the same age as me. Yeah. yeah. But we are. Mm. And we've actually are very good friends. Like we do. We see each other all the time. I love now. that you had to confirm that. We that do we actually do. like each other. Yes. People say all the time you're actually friends. We are in reality and contractually. Yeah. <laughs> Which does help. Yes. Yeah. Have you learned any etiquette? Yeah, loads. William. He's been he's 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 a good friend to have around, but loads. Yeah. Yeah. Just everyday stuff. Now I always say this, and use this as an example. Now every time I have soup, I scoop it away from me because that's the correct way. Oh, is it? Yes. Yeah, so you don't scoop it towards. But you how do you get it all on the spoon? You scoop it. Scoop away, away and then as in, towards. You, so you, I'd scoop it towards me. Yeah, so and then you put it on the side of the bowl to make sure it stays on the spoon. No, you just like scoop it. No, but yeah. that going that way. See, you wouldn't actually. There's that's loads crazy. of different things. Fine. Another one as well. If. Um, if you go to someone invites you around to the house, never be early or on time. You should always be ten minutes late. That's good etiquette. Now my dad always says this. Excellent. Because you're never actually ready as well on the yeah. time. Never. Yeah. But then I went round to his for dinner a couple of weeks ago and I was just walking around the block for twenty minutes. That's fine. I, that's all right. <laughs> and Jordan, uh, that is what you do. I, look like, all right. I was reading the planning permission sign at one point. I was like, Well, I'm gonna say I stood there like, I was just, I'm gonna say no to this. Just don't piss him off. <laughs> I'm gonna get in touch with love. You've taught me loads. Yeah. Like, what else? And he's taught me loads of. There are bit. There are times, in, even in my in my proper job mm. as an etiquette coach, where I will, I can hear Jordan begin to come out of my mouth certain phrases, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> Start some rumors there. <laughs> um, think you know, like hot dog down Mersey Tunnel. I think about that one all the time. Oh, like, is that like a euphemism for vagina? Yeah, I don't. Well, uh, I just, vagina or other parts just, of body. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, uh, I do that. Your constant, your constant joke of like, I can't think of the name now, but you know, we'll refer to a name, and you go, "Oh, I was at school with him." Oh yeah, or whatever. Um, yeah, so it's just certain Jordanisms, and also I'm slightly worried, especially when I listen back to our podcast, that my uh, accent is slightly becoming more Jordan than oh, it was initially. Right, he went and got um, during lockdown. During lockdown, because he was noting that some of his vowels were sounding a bit flat, because. <laughs> <laughs> also, we were doing was speaking yeah. to him. He went and got what they call elocution. Tutor. He went and got an elocution Stop it. tutor. He paid for elocution lessons in lockdown. Oh. I had an elocution. <laughs> this was the same because elocution. Because he was worried that I was having too much of an effect on him. How mad's that? So, age that 12 and 13, I asked my parents to give me elocution lessons because oh. I wanted to be a news reader. He used to speak like that because he's actually from Bristol. Yeah. Are you actually from Bristol? I am, yeah. Right, my lover. Mm. Yes. Thought that make you feel like cheers, Droy. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm from West Bristol. Oh, so right. I'm that clear. And <laughs> I, uh, Clifton. yeah. So I had this elocution tutor, Gary. Fantastic chat when I was twelve, and then during lockdown, I thought, oh, I wonder if Gary's still doing it because right. I have noticed my bowels, as Jordan said, become a bit flat, and he is, uh, and he was so, and he still does. How many? Be- sorry, how many lessons do you think he'd need for me? Oh, I think oh, you'll well, quite he'd a buy nice. a second home really? with you. I think. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I'd pay his mortgage off yeah. the amount of lessons yeah. that I need. Yeah. Be, we've been good for each other, though, haven't we? And when we first mm. started, we celebrated our fifth uh, birthday recently. Mm-hmm. Yes. And when we first started, we had to go back and listen to old episodes. And oh. it's fair to say we've both changed. Yeah. yeah. William was. Does it make you cringe, though? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Do you ever listen back to your... God forbid. No. No. Okay. no. Yeah. And I, William was a bit more uptight and was like... We, Which gives you a rough idea <laughs> what I was like. <laughs> and I was just sounded like some piss head from the street 
Yeah. <laughs> and I looked awful as well. Sounded. The first ever episode we recorded, I just come back from a stag do. So. Jordan sounds oh. like the Princess Royal now. Yeah. <laughs> in comparison. <laughs> Compared. Yeah. Oh, so you're raspy and stuff. I was stuff. like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you Manly. Yeah. And, don't say manly. <laughs> yeah. And people say to me now all, all the time, I always ask them, have I changed? I haven't really. Have I? Who knows? You'll have to listen. <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm still the same old me. You're the, still the same old brand new you. You're just better with etiquette. Yeah. Maybe now. And I say address a bit better. I mean, not today. No. I think that's life though, isn't it? Like mm. if I look back at some stuff, I'll look back at this today and think, what was that? But like if I look back at stuff I wore a year ago, I think, oh, mm. who let me out the house? And that? <laughs> not good. Oh, I don't think Do so. you not have a friend like William though? We've all got a friend a bit like William that's a bit partial, um, thinks we're a bit Better than Blondie. <laughs> no. Oh, do you know what? No. Or an auntie. But my or... nan. Yeah, there you go. But my nan's like, mm. Jesus. You know, like she loves your, your, Jesus. Your grandmother is my Jesus. My grandmother is the Lord. Okay. She <laughs> loves God. Um, I got my, what did I get? I got a tattoo and she was like, you're going to hell. Yeah. And I said, that's fair. It? On my arm, quite a big one as well. Mm. So, okay. you know what? But look, you sit with a halo above you. Yeah, and I also think maybe God does exist because this woman is 95 and oh, she's fair. still like like a squeaky gate. She's like a squeaky she gate? She won't go. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. 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 No hello, how much... hello to Grace's grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> <if you're listening. laughs> does she ever watch you or listen No, to she me? found out um, that I was well known slightly because her carer, lovely girl, came in and went, yeah, you're a... Uh, your granddaughter said something about you on the podcast. She had no clue what that means. <laughs> so that's as much as she knows. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So if you had any advice etiquette wise for me, what would it be? Strip me down. I'm sorry. And give me something. Well, you greeted us beautifully. Thank you. You were very worried really about nervous. I said I was very nervous because I'm, I'm a hugger usually, right? But then I know oh. a lot of people aren't huggers. I'm a so I go Not on in the first handshake. Time, Grace. No. No, I know you have. It's no. like virginity. You go slow. And then afterwards, you can just go to town with whatever yeah. you want. Really. Once it's in, it doesn't hurt. Once it's in, it's, it's game over, then, isn't it? So, right. Mm. Um, yeah. No, I don't like a hug on the first time because it's too much too soon. What are you doing the second time you greet me? <sighs> Bending you over. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure because that is true. You got you start. Yeah. High. I think you need to leave somewhere to go. So yeah. Nice, good old handshake. Okay. Eye and contact, then, which you did beautifully. Thank you. Yeah. Never shake over a desk or a table. Well done. Oh, really? Yes. About. Why? Or because it's a barrier in between you. Oh, so never, I should come round. Come and round if someone comes up, never. So if someone can shake our hand now. We should get up. Don't shake. Oh, your okay. Hand, like, well, that's like anything. If you like, hello. I think yeah. that's rude. You yes. Stand up. I agree. Yeah. Because then I'm like, what am I doing here? Yeah. Mm. Anything else? Uh, well, you're dressed very nicely. You're very coordinated. Thank you. Yeah, to redress for the weather. Describe today. what you're wearing for us. I'm uh, wearing a gym set. I don't go, but I like. To... Well, you're in great shape. Thank you. Tell my mum that. Oh, every, your mum ever since I've got a boyfriend, she goes, "Your legs, Grace, fucking huge." Mums are like that with they daughters. Are, aren't they, they are. They are. Yeah. Oh, do you give it but, back to her? No. If I did, oh. I'd be living on the streets. Well, it's a double standard, your mother. So got. true. But she also cooks my dinners. Oh, do you live at home? Yeah. Okay. Mums are like that. We don't have noticed, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Horrible yeah, they are beasts. Critical. Yeah, horrible very beasts. Critical. Yeah. Oh, no, it's my belly. She went, your belly's getting big. I thought. <gasps> well, you bring it to one of our live shows because one of my favourite bits about the live shows, we go into the audience and Jordan's right. much nicer to everyone and just says hello could, and yeah. asks them where they come from. And I give a little critique about what people are wearing. Oh, mm. do you? So sort of in the style of the great Barry Humphreys mm. and Larry Grace and Julian Clary, right. that, in that sort of ilk. So bring her along. Sit her in the front rows. Yeah. Yes. What and we'll is do that. The, what is an outfit that you hate? Don't say gym sets. An outfit that I hate. I don't like jeans with rips in them. Okay. Yeah. I'm particularly, yeah, I can particularly see that. against those. Mm -hmm. Particularly, I mean, like, okay, if you live in a very hot country, you might need a bit of ventilation. Yeah. And that's okay. Why well, you wouldn't but, wear jeans? You know, we're doing this in Newcastle. Yeah. Okay. This is the live show. <laughs> yeah. It's it's cold. What are yeah. you doing? And yeah. it's also not fashionable. No. And sometimes I think the rips get too big. Yes, mm. it just looks like and you golf, can't afford the proper pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like football tops? You're not keen on that, are you? No. Oh, I don't like football tops no. either. Unless you're playing football, then there's no Then point. maybe it makes sense. Or but a football a... match. Mm. I'd still, I'd go to a football match like this. Would you go to a football? Because I can't see you as a hooligan. So Jordan's taken me up the turf more before we went to Burnley nice. football club. Nice. There wasn't a match, to be fair. There wasn't, was there? <laughs> 
But we did that. Failed. And back in the day, my brother is a Liverpool supporter. No. None of us are from Liverpool. No idea why he picked Always Liverpool. the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, he aged eight, he decided that we should all go to Anfield oh. in Liverpool. Fair. That was a family experience. I can imagine. And so it was back in the day when people would go and smoke in the interval. So I, we were all half time. smoking. Half time. <laughs> in the interval? And... <laughs> We did that. Yeah. So I've been. So that was an actual football match. I don't know who was playing, yeah. but we did that. But it could be worse. It could have been Millwall. Are they bad? Fuck them all, Millwall. I, I went to Millwall. You didn't? Uh, recently, just in the, about February. What Yes, I remember when you went. Burnley were playing them, so I went oh, on a okay. Tuesday night. It wasn't that bad, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah, just I think of, they've had to calm down a bit just now. Just a lot of 18-year-olds, like 16-year-olds in Stone Island, isn't it? Oh. Uh, what do you think of Stone Island? Do you like Stone Island? I don't know what it is. Uh, get your badge in. Where would I buy Stone Island clothing? Um, pff, off a man with a gold tooth. Or like... <laughs> <laughs> or I don't know how, where... Where would you buy stuff online? I like it. Some of, it's, it's, it's one of those. That it, it's quite high-end make, a bit like Berber used to be. And then certain <laughs> sections of society get yeah. over it and bring it... Drug dealers, William. Mm. Okay. But I've got a, I've right. got a Stone Island um, half zip and I love it. Okay. Yeah. Half zip. Yeah. Quarter, quarter zip. zip. Quarter zip. Never yeah. heard it called a I know, half I... zip. Do you know what though? I was speaking to Jamie Lang and I said quarter zip. Man had no clue what a quarter zip was. Has he now? At all. He's quite posh as well. And that's what I thought. The quarter zip is quite smart. Isn't yeah, it? London Bridge. Island. Waterloo. Pep Guardiola wears Stone Island on the touchline. I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, sorry, we said that at the exact same time. He's the Man City manager. He wears Stone Island. He's called what? Pip? Pep. Pep. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Pep Guardiola. Right. Yeah. He's, um, well, he sounds lovely. Yeah. <laughs> he's um, Glatitanian, not Glatitanian. Guatemalan? No, it's from Spain. Gua he's Spanish. No, <laughs> Catalonian. Catalonian. I think he's Catalonian. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, lovely. Okay. I'm going to get him a Stone Island top now. You're not? Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Like one of the windbreakers. Yeah. That's what you need. But the, yes, but you see, this is, this, is, this is actually where this becomes unfair because if I got you some nice, you know, nice Emmer's jumper, I'd you'd be doing... That. Yes, exactly. You'd be doing... And you would be pleased. Mm. You get me a Stone Island what's it, I'll be livid. No, the thing is, sometimes this doesn't work you equally. have to put fingers in pies. And been you warned need about to start that before. Fingering pies. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm more of a tart man. Finger the tart. Do okay. you know what? Oh, actually, yeah, no, I've that's never didn't done sound that bad. before. Neither have I. No. Anyway. We'll crash on. Yeah. Um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I'm a celeb, obviously. Oh, yeah. Touched Shall I go and get but a coffee? Would you, no, at this I was going to say, would you do it? No. You should. No, I don't need the money. Uh, <laughs> so it's I fine. I don't need the money. I very much did at the time. Yeah. Well, that's why most people do I'm a celeb. Isn't it? Yeah, I think the mo the money. There's why else would you get in a coffin for the? Snakes? Why would you eat balls out of your own? It's well, it's well, not just that the money. But the it's a Friday. The experience. Yeah. But um, the, the weight loss. Yeah, the weight. There's loads of reasons. And to be fair, yeah, I, I believe it or not, I didn't get paid that much because I was I wasn't yeah. like well known at all. But some big names get quite like a lot. Matt Hancock. Did he get like four hundred k? Allegedly, do think, yeah. Do you reckon the uh, I suspect he might have got one or two pounds more than you. I think he should do it, but William hates rats. Would you, would you do it? Uh, yeah, for the... Because I think, I think you'd with be the great. diet, you'd asked, right? probably. Have you been asked? No. Grace, okay. you'd be great in it. But do you know what it is? People come out of that jungle looking like Kate Moss. Mm. The diet, the tan. Are you crazy? I don't mind rats. No. What I don't like is snakes. Oh, I hate snakes. Spiders. Mm. anything that moves a bit weird mm. get fucked yeah i don't like it at all i had to get in a coffin full of them and it was horrific how did you survive that well i went to my happy place which is yeah kind famously, of famously. <laughs> but it was one of them where you, d you don't see it um in the edit right but it took me about an hour to get in and i had a full on oh. breakdown i was crying i was sweating they still made you do it i was so. snotting and deck just said to me he said and he could tell I was having like a panic attack. He said, breathe. And I thought, right, I'll get in. If Deck tells you to breathe, you breathe. You breathe. Yeah, yeah. words to live by. And I thought, <laughs> I'll get in. He told me recently as well how that came. He, we talked about it recently for the first time, but I thought, I'll get in. And as soon as the first snake comes in, I'll you say, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah. But I just persevered. And I thought, it's 10 minutes. And I thought, it was still horrific. I would never do it again. And yeah. then they did it to you at the, in the final. You yeah. were in like some sort of Which wicker man thing. Which was even worse. Right? It was in like what they called like a, an iron maid. What did they call it? It was in like a 
a mummy. A standing up coffin, oh. yeah. basically. It's like a shape like a How mummy. How is this legal? I know. And why are you afraid of just rats? I mean, I'm afraid of quite a lot of things. Okay. Um, Go on, socialists, yeah. for example. <laughs> yeah. uh, Republicans. Me too on that uh, one. Yeah, that sort scary. of thing. Um, but yeah, mice, rats, voles. But you need to get a coffin full of socialists. Oh. Yeah, that would be a tight squeeze. Owen Jones climbing all over you. <laughs> yeah. and but do you not think mice are quite sweet? No, 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 no. But they're little fluffy. No. He hates them. No. Tiny hands. No. Is it the dirt? It's the speed, I think. <laughs> No, mice take speed. No, rats on speed. No, it's the fact that it, like if they were like a like a tortoise and they right. just sort of plodded along, you'd yeah. be like, okay, that's it's it's you don't know where they're going. They're so quiet. They the don't look. Awesome. You know, if they were like, to be, I think I'd rather see a white rat in the street. You know, yeah. like sort of like a like a lab rat, yeah. rather than <laughs> famously a dirty city grimy. Yeah, yeah but I think rat. they. I if I imagine one of those rats. I imagine them to have the voice of like Danny Dyer. Yes. Oh, I go. Yeah, yeah. You're in the coffin. You hear that, and you think it's rats. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Rather than oh, hello. You know, you'd be fine with that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like Louis Spence. Yes, exactly. I could yeah. deal with that. Yeah. The, the weight loss thing is. I look back at pictures. Yeah. And I did look great. I'm not gonna lie. You also decided to shave everything. Yeah. Didn't you? And uh, you, on his face. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. every, everybody said you look great and stuff, and I just. Everybody says it, and I always say, "No, don't tell me I look great." Cause I was literally starving mm. for yeah. three weeks. Do you like, feel like fully? It's not like they sneak you in a little no, Dorito. I that's you. fully. You're, you're starving, and the food's not great that what that you win. So we got like oxtail. What the fuck's oxtail? Never. We had to like carve oxtail. Strip me. Get you, that, you get that most Michelin star restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> no. What are you complaining about? Eel. Also, d don't forget they were doing this during lockdown too. Are you they in the had, castle? Of course you were. Yeah. They had more liberties in that castle than we had out yeah. in public. They yeah, could hug each other. They you know could socialise. Well? Were you pissed off that you got England and not Australia? No, because again, I'm scared of flying, so I think I dodged a bullet. I probably would have got on a plane. But the heat. It looked freezing in there. Yeah. Oh, it was horrible. And everyone, everybody thinks, and there'll be people listening and watching now, and it can be a bit cynical and think it can't be that bad. Let me tell you, it is. Yeah. Okay. It's horrific. You've sold it to me. That's you are starving. Right. Yeah. Um, you're tired as well. So we found out we were going to bed about four or five o'clock in the morning, being woken up about 11, 12, because how the day works. So you're no. knackered. Yeah. You're, you're just hungry. For me, I couldn't have a brew in the morning. That was the thing. That, I'd be a horrible bitch. Oh, and this is why. And I think you'd argue. be a horrible bitch too. If we were in there together, we could. We could probably Arguably, I don't need the show. Yeah. <laughs> Takes one to no one. Yeah. 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 I just think, yes. yeah, I think when you're hungry, it's a different level. Hmm. I don't, I can't I, yeah. deal with that. But that said, I, like when you don't win, when people don't win stars, you just get beans and rice, don't mm. you? I'd be, I'd be all right with I'd that. I'd be absolutely fine. Yeah, I prefer yeah. that compared to some of the stuff. And to yeah. be fair, you just end up having the beans and rice when the mains come anyway, because you're like, what, what is eel? And how do you know yeah. how to cook it? You don't. You don't. You don't. So you could get salmonella. And it takes two hours to cook everything. You're joking. So you start, yeah, because everything's got to be cooked from fresh. I'm not doing it then. It's no. Strictly. Stick to Strictly. Stri Have you done Strictly now? No, 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 no. Would you do no, Strictly? No, but at least you come out no, with a skill. I don't want that. I don't think we'd ask you. <laughs> well, it was Strictly. Yeah, you can come out with a skill. I came out with a skill. I'm, what was your skill? I knew how to... Uh, yeah. You, exactly. My point proven. You knew how to starve. <laughs> yeah. And no... I knew how to. Yeah, what did I come Sit out? Sit in with? a coffin full of stuff. What I are guess? you saying to me, my producers? Are... You knew yourself. Yeah, oh, I knew myself. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's not a skill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew how to light a fire and chop wood. That is quite good because if you get abandoned yeah. on an island, so mm. useful in zone one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm not in zone one, am I? No, actually you're not. But no. <laughs> the thought was there, yeah. Ish. It was a good joke. Yeah, it was a good joke, yes. Good joke. So what, would you go on any TV shows? I'm, I've done, I, I try to do the slightly more upmarket end of the spectrum. I've done The Wheel. Because <gasps> you're on in your... The Wheel? The Wheel, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Just the spinny wrap. Disgusting, though. I've said, you don't need to get me on the TV bit, I'll just do the spinny bit. Yeah, but I had to take travel sickness <sighs> on it. So I started feeling a bit queasy. Yes. And there's only so much Michael McIntyre you can stare yeah. at to get your balance mm -hmm. before it becomes weird. Yes. Yeah. And when I hugged him, I groped his breast. 
Oh, wow. Only one? Only No, because I, I thought, oh, maybe we're going... This is, again, the same. I thought maybe we're going in for the double kiss. He is, he is more tactile than most people. Well, yeah. I thought double kiss, he's got to be. I can read a man. It wasn't. He went in for a hug. So I was like, I didn't go all the way. So I just went like that. And while we were hugging, I was like, it's too late to take my hand off. So I just kept it there until we departed from the hug. Did he say anything? Did you say anything? I didn't address it, but I, no. we both knew that I just assaulted him well never mind mm. he got asked to do dancing on ice he didn't they've asked me several times would you do it no no oh. no one needs to see me in lycra oh i well. don't know and also I, <laughs> oh another thing i'm scared of yeah ice skates and that's fair because if you fall and someone goes over oh. your finger, <laughs> yeah 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 i agree you would get a shitload of money. No, you probably won't. No, not you? on that show. No, no it's really you watching your it. finger off, but you, it's like mm. hanging, stuff like that. Mm. Let me tell you, those contracts are tight, are they? sealed. Like, if you did anything, you would, even if you broke a leg, you wouldn't be able to mm. get any extra money. What I price? also feel with Dancing on Ice, and sorry to anyone who's done this, particularly recently in the last sort of four or five years, every yeah. time they announce the Dancing on Ice cast list, you people go, who, who? And I don't want to be, a, and I would be a who, mm -hmm. and I don't want to be a who. <laughs> But you are by definition being on that show. But it's for who. yeah. Sometimes it's similar with I'm a celeb though. Sometimes like mm. last year, I didn't have a clue who when a lot I of them was were. On, no one knew who I no, was knew, unless you listened to. But me. to be I'm fair, voice. Mm. strictly Alicia Dixon when she went on it, she was the biggest who on that list. Yeah. Won it and has arguably done incredibly well. Mm. And is a fan, did one of my favourite yeah. ever songs, "The Boy Does Nothing." <laughs> so it does work for some people. Can I just say, if you get asked to do it, genuinely <laughs> yeah. do it because it's the, which I'm a celeb. Because it's the best thing I ever did in my life. You, let's roll the tape back, what you just said. You're starving. Yeah. It's cold. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's horrible. It's the best experience. Really? I mean, I would never do it again. I wouldn't. Yeah. But like, real talk, it, it like. Thing is, if you're in there with someone that's annoying though, that's going to jar you. Because it's we, like six weeks. We were lucky though. We we all got on. What if I get Boris Johnson on this season? Yeah, fair oh, you probably would. I, yeah, yeah, probably, probably yeah. Yeah. Theresa May. Lovely. Oh, lovely Theresa May. <laughs> fields of wheat. Yes. We all love like, a field of okay. wheat. Okay. Theresa May, maybe at the time, arguably, yeah. but now compared to some of the people we've had. True. Theresa May well, looks like, you know, George I had a Washington. Good I, Shane Ritchie. Yes, because everyone was available your year because it was lockdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vernon. No one was working. Oh, you had Vernon K. Giovanna. They were all. I such love good Vernon K. Oh, he's a great lad. He is the nicest guy. Beautiful, mm. incredible. I'd like him to feed me a quiche. <laughs> That's something I often think about. Do you like quiche? No. I've re <laughs> but I would if he. Oh, fed did you try me the it. coronation quiche? Who? No. What's that? You know, we had the coronation a few months ago. We did. Ago. Yeah. Yes, they did a coronation quiche, vegetarian, delicious. What was quiche made out of? For its eggs. Beans? Eggs. Uh, that one had fava beans in it, or broad beans, if you didn't know oh, okay. fava beans. Broad Cheddar, beans. pastry, right. cream, mm. and tarragon. Delicious. Can I just say, <laughs> I had quiche recently for the first time in right. years, and yeah. I was banging. I highly recommend it. I quiche. think when I was younger, I had it, but I, that was because I made it in food tech. Mm. And obviously, I probably yeah. wouldn't have liked that quiche. Mm. Did you do food tech? No. no. Did you go to private school? Does a best shit in a woods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went to an independent friend. school. What does that private school? That's what you call private. That's the PC term for private school. school now. Do you know? Mm. No, you don't. I don't know why I keep saying, do you know? And I have never met you both before ever. I was meant to go to a private school. Where were you? My dad was like, we'll find the money. So I went for an interview, not an interview, but you know when you can go look round. Yeah. And the girls were wearing long green skirts <laughs> down to their Plaid. ankle. Plaid, darling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm not going there. <laughs> So what did you wear to school there? then if you didn't wear a plaid tartan so skirt? So I, well, I wore a belt, if you know what I mean. Went to a public school after that, yanked that shirt Yeah, out. rolled it up. But I did have a tie and a blazer. Mm. And it was a... Was it a short tie? Mm. Oh yeah, it was one of those fat yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in year 11, I thought, get your shit together, Grace. So I made it like semi. <laughs> so We've all been there. We've all yes. really have been there. <laughs> yeah. But did you go to a public school? Yeah, I went to quite a lot of schools because my dad was in the army. Who was pregnant in your year? Oh, Anyone? Um, Knew it. I'll just, I can't say Yeah, don't name drop. <laughs> but it was so weird. I genuinely, I seen her sister on Jeremy Cowan when it was on. Shut up. I've, I know, I think this <laughs> always says where you're from and the upbringing you had. Yeah. Um, I, two people I know, 
I've been on Jeremy Kyle. That's so funny because one person I know. I know was two. Any person? No. Who out of your school? One of my great aunts was on the back of the Antiques Roadshow, <laughs> if that counts that for That is so on point and iconic. Yeah. I found the screenshot the other day. Actually. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Who's the most successful person out of your school, like your year? You got someone in the government? John Cleese. Well, he wasn't in my year. Is. Oh, yeah. That Thank you very much. John Cleese. It's quite yeah, problematic he went to, now, John Cleese. He went to my school. Um, uh, yeah, there are some people that work for government. Really? Yeah. But it gives you a rough indication as to the level of my academic year that the most sort of well-known is me, which yeah. gives you a rough idea how <laughs> terrible everyone else was. Uh, be, but yeah, they're, all but they're all lovely people. Yeah, But course. yeah, there are a few people that have pro- what I call proper jobs. Do you get people message you from your schools now being like, yeah. oh God, love the pod? I, I like still stay in touch. I'm still all my best friends. From back home, one of the ones I went to school. Yeah, with. yeah. So I've got like my real strong core group in that, and mm-hmm. I'm meeting them this weekend at the time of recording at Glastonbury. Um, but yeah, so get in touch every now and again. I'm like, well, Aww. you were a bit of a dick. With yeah, me. yeah. You, you kick me over, so what now? You used to make me oh, everyone yes. feel my moves in PE. And oh, stuff. stop! And that, I remember one lad made me do the truffle shuffle. Do you remember off the Goonies? You are I'd, absolutely joking. I had like puppy fat, and they used to make me jiggle. In uh, the changing rooms. <laughs> Wait, go, hey. that is awful. Go, hey, come on, jiggle. So I used to jiggle. <laughs> oh, darling, that's so <laughs> like this, and they flick and give me nipple cripples. So bad of the teachers. And then he got, oh. got in touch. He was like, "All right, mate, when you're next up north, I have to get a pint." And I just thought, I'm not replying to you, you dick. He'd make you jiggle as well, yeah. you know. It after a few pints. To be fair, my brother used to make me jiggle as well, which sounds weird, but we're good mm. friends now. Yeah, I always well, say to, when, <laughs> yeah. when... There's a lot to unpack. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. William wants me to go to therapy, but um, I always say to William when he says something about his life and his childhood, I always say, me and our Ryan shared bunk beds till we were 21. Yeah, you've had it worse. So yeah. we went to his <laughs> yeah. house, right? We're talking about this today. When I first went to his house, yeah. I texted him in my, the middle of... My parents' of, house. And his parents' <laughs> yeah. house. I texted him in the middle of the night. I went, mate, your mum's left the cooker around. She's going to burn the house down. Yeah. And he went, it's an arga. It's meant to be on. It's on all the time. You know, one of those, That's the whole point of an Arga. You know those fancy old-fashioned Do you have an Arga? Your parents have an Arga? I mean, no. No. Yeah. They it, leave their... It's co- the old-fashioned thing. Yeah. No, it Constant warms heat. up the house. Yeah, they yes. leave it on constantly. It's often linked to the central heating. Is your house Victorian? N- no, it's older. Well, it, oh. I've also they've sold it now, so it's... Was it older? Yeah. Do you have ghosts? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you've come onto a topic that John's yeah. an expert in oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but goes? no we didn't and you if sure? we did I don't believe in any of that so, really no. I at all I had a gay ghost in my bed at uni I believe it was <laughs> I felt the presence of a man in my bed right <laughs> No, Can honestly. you say that? And it was like I got about 18 and it was in a really old <laughs> student hall right and one night I just felt like it got on top of me <laughs> We've talked about this before, and I felt like it touched me. I was. And Did I, you enjoy it? I was eighteen. That's at the all right. Time. Then, you got yeah. your friend to come and do an exorcism. Yeah, my mate. Was, <laughs> my mate was from. Um, he's from Cork in Ireland, and he was deeply religious. He was. I mean, he'd go to church on a Sunday, so for me, it's that's just religious, called being religious. Yeah. Yeah. Like, here at North, he called me North. <laughs> You've got something. Me nan's got some holy water, and he come in and just start throwing it. Into the <laughs> and I never had any problems after that. Really? Yeah, that's simple. But I was remember I was let down, and I felt it like yeah. No one Caress believes me. your neck. But I know what happened. <laughs> but you don't believe in ghosts, do you? No. You've never had. I've had a ghostly experience. Have you? Yes. Yeah, I've had a few. First one. No, I'll just say two. This girl I knew, she lived above a graveyard. Okay, I didn't know that at the time. Above a graveyard. So like it, the house what, was like built, a mezzanine level. I, d- I don't know what that means, William. But what like what is it above? Okay, How do you so live above a graveyard? So it, was built on a... it was built on top of the graves. Yeah, I'm with you now. There we go. So mezzanine, did you say? Yeah. What does that mean? It's like a half level. I'm gonna write that. I down. thought that was a Spanish picky tea. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like that. Anyway, we were in our room. And her parents were saying like the other night that they'd heard plates smashing from downstairs and they went downstairs and all the cupboards were open, but no plates were smashed. Anyway, I thought bollocks. So they keep the hall light on and I saw someone walking up and down by the door. So I thought, Amy, sort your dad out. She opened the door, no one was there. And the bathroom door was just swinging open and shut. Oh oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. (laughs) 
But it scared the shit out of me because it was loud. <laughs> Sorry. That was... Sorry. Carry on. Sorry. Sorry. It's put me off now. It's what passes for entertainment on anyway, Radio 1. Anyway, yeah, so that happened. And then when my granddad died, we were all in the kitchen, no windows open, and the door flung open. Oh. And my mum was like, always oh, here. I said, don't encourage this. <laughs> That's disgusting. Had you been drinking apple sours at the time? I had been drinking a couple of wines, but right, I swear go. to God, the door opened. Could you... I'm now deaf. I'm like you now. Jordan's deaf in one ear, ringing? and I'm now deaf in oh, one ear. Is it ringing? Sorry. <laughs> what? Can you can you hear that? Hear what? I mean, that's uh, that's hard to hear anyway, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's just how I always because I'm deaf in one ear. If you do that, if you rub your fingers, can we together, do the deaf in one ear stories? How you became deaf in one ear? Yeah. He was putting a bar. <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten this. It's come back to me. <laughs> You were putting a bike away. Yeah. And you suddenly became different, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? This is how we tell him that. Oh, my mum asked me to put a bike away. And I became deaf in one ear. How was he putting the bike away? <laughs> um, what? Um, my mum, t- I was 14, and my mum said, put your bike away, it'll get nicked. So. Went out and put my back in shed. I just remember my ear bursting. <laughs> From Pop, what? It just, just popped, you know, like when you're on a plane. Oh, okay. I thought, well, that's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> and, then, and then about two weeks later, I said, my cat ear in my ear. And I went, don't be daft. She's <laughs> going she off school. And about four weeks later, she took me to the doctors. <laughs> and doctor, I remember he had like this bell thing in it. Whacked it on the side of the table. He put it next to there and I went, yeah, I can hear that. And I put it next to there and I couldn't hear a thing. And he's like, oh, right, you need to. So I went to stress it. Anyway, it turned out <laughs> I burst a blood vessel in my ear, which could, it's like quite serious. I think it was this. I, I don't know the meaning because I've told this to a, a doctor friend. She went, that doesn't make sense. But <laughs> I was 14. I can't remember much. And I went with my dad and he probably weren't paying attention. I burst a blood vessel in the ear. It could have been an amorism. An aneurysm. Aneurysm. <laughs> but basically, yeah, I, I forgot I was putting it in. And I'm de- I've got, and then at school, they give me an earring end. Oh, well, that doesn't help with the bullying, does it? it? I promise you this. <laughs> yeah. It was in a bright pink and yellow, oh. LED elephant case. It was a big elephant on the front with a big trunk. And she was like flipping up an earring aid on the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Should like, right, Nelly. <laughs> And you know, you put your bags down to play footy at school. Oh, no. Every, and when I was at school, everyone had the pull string bags that were in. And one of the lads just went in and pulled it out. And they were literally kicking it around the yard and throwing it. And I think they wanted me to fetch and be pigging them in. Like, <laughs> yeah. I just fucking left them. And yeah, I've that's never, fair. I've never seen that even aid since. You've never had one yeah. since either. No. So do be careful when you're putting your bicycle away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good thing I don't ride bikes. But yeah. If I'm like in the morning, if I'm asleep and my good ear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Re- oh, so it's really dead? Yeah. Yeah. That's mental. This is why we have to, we have certain signs. Yeah. Yeah. Here, yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. If your speakers be now, we're in a pub. I'd turn my head like that. Yeah, but yeah, basically. Wow. Mm. That's any ailments you want to talk about? Yeah, you got anything wrong? No, not really. It's perfect. Yeah. No, Sometimes I'm... I think I have deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> right. My DVT. granddad had that. Did he? Mm. The pain in your legs. Do you have? Yeah. To, do you wear the specialist socks? No, but I was flying once, and they said you should move because you'll get deep vein thrombosis. And I remember my legs really hurt. Was this on that two-hour flight? It was on a seven. Oh. Seven. Yeah. Oh, I think you're fine on a seven. And then I thought, mm. and ever since then, sometimes I get pains in my leg. Oh, well, you can go and check it out. Might have to, but I don't want to wear the socks. Mm. Yeah, they are. They're not very fancy. It's like surgery socks. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm not doing that. No. Just cut me open and leave. You've got yeah. laser treatment on your face. Yes. Did you? And yes. now I get it on my back because he recommended it. For yeah. what? D- for my stubble area. Because I have okay. very, very, well, I used to have very dark stubble, even though I'm quite blonde. Right. Dark stubble. And it would. I would shave at nine, o- well, you know, eight o'clock. And by 10 o'clock, it l- would look like I hadn't shaved. Really? Yeah. And it looked messy. Just and so, a, 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 a School child I was teaching once at a school brought this up and went, So, if you're teaching etiquette, do you, do you not think it would have been more polite to shave? You hate that kid. Well, yeah, I do. Yeah. I, can, I can see it now. Um, and yeah, I that gave me a hang up about it. So, thus, I have gone through. Oh, so, it's laser hair. Laser and hair. It he let me. T- oh, it is fucking agony. Really? And people get like the. the you only get my puss done. Yeah, everyone gets the puss done. 
Um, I bet you've never heard Sorry. it. Are you okay? <laughs> So, he like screenshot oh, there. Um, yeah. uh, so you do forget sometimes. I say certain things. I'm like, yeah. Right. But yeah, and she said to me, the girl that does it, she's like, babes, it's all right. I'll put the I'll put the cool air on the hottest. She doing it. She went to me, oh, you, the boys are always the worst. I do girls fannies all day, and they don't even <laughs> flinch. And I was like, I was in, I, I was biting down on my hoodie. Really? My mouth, yeah. Mm. I can't imagine it on the face as well. I know. It's fine now. It oh. must have been horrible. Yeah. Ooh. Are you finding yours gets better? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's as as better. there's hair disappears, it gets yeah. easier to do it. Oh, okay. So now it's, it's I barely notice it. Now. Well, maybe I'll do that then. Yeah. So yeah, the I'd first, take yeah. some paracetamol 45 minutes before you have it. Okay. Oh, is that what you meant to do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. that'll help. Yeah. It, I mean, it's still painful, but it's slightly and don't better. buy all the, they'll tell you, to, when you're on your first session, they'll tell right. you to buy all the creams at like 70 odd quid. Don't do it. Hardly just a bit of aloe vera. Just need aloe vera. Okay. A few leaves. Yeah. Rub it on there. Or just the gel. Or the gel. Yeah. Or just the gel. Yes. Okay. So, your pod. I want to know the worst. What's it called when they write in? Dilemma. 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 Yeah. That you've ever had. Because I saw one the other day on my uh, page where it was where someone had been sexting their steps half sister. Yeah. And yes. then met them. I feel like that's pretty they bad. Had just, they had decided that they were going to do dating apps, but yeah. they weren't going to put a photograph because then uh, deliberately think, yeah. to create their own blind dates. But that's risky as and it is. And bizarrely, they had been talking to a no photograph page mm. yeah and they had been sexting they had sent other photographs mm. maybe of their puss their laser as you so puss. eloquently put it yeah <laughs> and then <laughs> they turned up and it was their sister, half sister. Oh. so that's pretty horrific yeah there's another one similar that always there was a guy mm-hmm. who was into older men mm. and they were yeah. sexting on an app Swapping pictures, no. talking about what they'd like to do to each other. Yeah. I think it was called Grinder. And oh yeah, well they uh, then swapped <laughs> face pictures before they met. Um, they'd been talking for ages, and they said we finally swapped face pictures, and it was his dad. <gasps> You're joking. The closeted dad. No, the dad who was downstairs having a happy relationship with mother. Do you think he told the mum? Well, what so would you the, do in that I don't situation? think the son, from memory, the son didn't send his own photograph. He just received his father's right. face photograph. Ooh. Yeah, so the, that was the worst one. I think we've had um, it, probably igluing. Do you know what igluing is? Is it something to do with holes? Yes, <sighs> I'm not sure. We'd never heard. Let of me it demystify before. this for you now. <laughs> um, A lady went round for drinks or something, or yeah, you know, dinner she... with friends. Are you, you... Open the ice, the freezer compartment to get some ice, and right. in there, igluing is where. Let's don't, don't just tell them that. Well, it's. It's, what? She opened the freezer and there was four frozen turds in a condom. sandwich bag. In what? A in a condom. Mm-hmm. In a condom. In a condom. In a sandwich bag. In a sandwich bag. And, and you what? freeze it and then you use it as a sex toy on yourself. You're joking. Shit. Yeah. Ugh. Yes, literally. Yeah. You're joking. No, but the thing is, we can't say that because I think we got done for kink shaming, didn't we? Was that in that? Oh, what? There's liking a bit of feet and then they're shoving shit up your <laughs> vagina. That is mental. <laughs> that is disgusting. I mean, he's their own, but I think they're... Anyway, it turned out that the person who's... I interrupted you then. <laughs> no, no. I just thought I'd tell the story a bit funnier. And it didn't work. No, it didn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it turned out the person who they went round to dinner with, that one of the, the partners was into it. Living. Oh. And it, uh, that threw me. I couldn't stop thinking about that for days. And I'd never heard of it before. So, that was so really, bad. we like to think it can't get any worse than that. I was going to say, another one we had recently that was funny but mortifying. A mum and a, a, and a new partner were having her kids and his kids around. Oh, oh this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> and this is right. all, back on and They had all the whole family around, <laughs> her stepchildren yeah. and her kids and her parents were there. And the dog came downstairs with a butt plug in its mouth <gasps> and they were all chasing it around. No. And she was like, how do I, what? And we're just like, she, that's, she, that's, yeah. pretty, more, that's pretty mortifying. Yeah. The episode title was great for that. What was it called? Help my pugs got my plug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what if it wasn't clean? Oh. Then you've got to take the dog to yeah. get a jab of some sort. But just knowing your yeah. mum's tetanus. Well, it all goes on. Yeah, no, yeah. but a butt plug's extreme, I think. There's oh, all, is it? I think, you know, like, wool vibrator, I could maybe look past. Lube, I could look past. A butt plug is crazy. 
Right. Because that means like, what else does she like up her ass? Your mother. <laughs> so you wouldn't now look again. This will, for those that haven't worked out, I'm a mm. homosexual. So I wouldn't put. I put a butt plug. Up yeah. One place. But yeah. Well, does it go at the front bottom? No. No. But but my mother. I get liking butt plugs. I get. I don't because I just. I'm a bit funny about my asshole. But for my mother, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't look at her in the eye. Making me a roast. Mm. That's what. She, yeah. Do you know what so I mean? So we've had them all. We've had them all. We had yeah. one guy that walked in on his housemate penetrating a watermelon. Yeah. I mean, no, I can't even justify that. Mm. Have you guys. Ever bit or uh, you're not going to answer this, but have you been walked in on before? Walked in on what? Doing the doing a watermelon. Humpy, humpy. No, I haven't. No. Oh. Have you really? No, no. Luckily. Yeah, I feel like you'd be stealth. It's one of the benefits of having living in an old house with creaky floorboards. You can't get away with anything, and you can no. hear yeah. who's coming. As literally. It were. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like to uh, end the pod, who we got today, <laughs> um, with what advice would you both give me to save Grace? <clears throat> Can be anything. Someone said, don't shit in a paper bag. Mm. Another person has said confidence, you know. Yeah. So there's... And are you sure you're up for redemption? I am. Okay. I am. May the Lord hear this. I, I want to say... Mm. But I, I don't think it's... The one bit of advice I always remember is what my grandma used to say is, mm. <clears throat> if you everyone's cup of tea, you'd be a mug. <laughs> That's quite good. I like that. But I think you're very likable and most people love you, so... Do you think? Yeah, definitely. Thank defo. you. Tell that to the I'd sun. Love Appreciate it. I'd love to. Oh, does the sun not like you? No. Oh, sorry, I'm uh-huh. vibrating. Is that your uh, No, <laughs> actually, as well, you write for the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail wrote a proper shitty article about me. Oh, did they? Yeah, get me the head email. Okay. Fuming. My, please. Uh, okay. My mum always used to say, spend good money sh- on your shoes or your bed because you're either in one or the other. Oh. That's quite good. She sounds like a smart woman. That's very good advice. But my best yeah. advice is, and I say this to everyone, just be mm. yourself. Yeah. Nice. And I would agree with that. Yeah. I, I think I, <clears throat> formerly in my formative years, may have spent too long either worrying about what people thought of me mm-hmm. or trying to yeah. change my behaviour in order to fit in. There's obviously the whole, you know, sort of closeted thing. And, you know, yeah. when you're sort of 50, I came out when I was 16. Um, and actually the quicker you realise, no, just if you're a weird sort of posh and inverted commas, mm-hmm. uptight, fastidious homosexual, you <laughs> yeah. just be that. Okay, that's you. If you're into etiquette, if yeah. you like setting tables and that's your that's thing, fun. you do that. It's not yeah. harming anyone. It's not illegal. Great. It's... If anything, it's completely the other end of the spectrum. Yeah. Just be you. And I think for you, yeah. Grace, you just be That's you. I probably can't be anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, <laughs> she, there's something very charming about Grace. There is. There? Yeah. Yes. So just be yourself. I try. And I can honestly say on the podcast, William is him. I am me. Same when I'm on the radio. So just be yourself. <laughs> we are we. Yeah. Yeah. I love just that. be yourself. And also don't don't take <laughs> yourself too seriously. Which you don't. No. You don't. But I think that's my advice for everyone else as well. I don't I think you need saving. Thank you. Change the title. Fuck it. Grace saved. Yeah. Can we all yeah. go out for a drink sometime? Yeah, yeah fine. I know everyone lovely. probably With says a, that to you. With a... Um, de Bonnet. De Bonnet. We'd love to take you for so a drink. So de on the rocks, please. Yes. Yes. With either a slice of lemon or a, a slice, slice of lemon. orange, depending on your palate. Oh, I like lemon more. Okay. Do you have a savoury tooth? Hmm? Do you have a savoury tooth? I like a croissant. Okay, well, then you might like orange. Orange works if you have a sweeter palate. Oh, okay. Lemon works if you're more safe. I have orange in the summer, lemon in the winter. Oh, oh but I think... He's such a maverick. What? <laughs> I'll try both. I'll just down them yeah, both a bit and of see both. which like, suits me. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you at the bar, guys. Lovely. Love Thank that. you so much for having Thank us. Thank you for coming Thank on. You. I appreciated it. And if you haven't listened, which you probably have, go listen to Help. I sexted my boss. And while you're here, give it a like and subscribe. Oh. Five star review and a follow for both of us. Oh, bless you. See you Thank later. You. Bye. Bye.